because I had never been an entrepreneur, I had worked with different entrepreneurs, uh, including, um, I actually didn't work with Steve Jobs, but I worked with people who had worked with Steve Jobs. I never worked directly for Ted Turner, but I worked with people who worked directly for Ted Turner. Lots of different, um, you know, people who I think if you were studying to become an entrepreneur, they would be the perfect people. But again, that wasn't the purpose for me. It was really more the idea. But I think with that, I felt like somewhere in there that I wasn't capable. As crazy as that may sound, I doubted myself because I didn't have the experience. And even though those people didn't have the experience prior to starting what they started, I, I really started to doubt. And certainly there were plenty of people around me who didn't help matters by saying, I don't know. I mean, you've had a really successful career and this, and so maybe you should just go back to that. And, and, and so I would say that the key thing was really not believing in myself and not really looking at it instead as, as a puzzle and recognizing my own capabilities and saying, okay, listen, this may not happen, but if I just go try and I pay close attention and I keep making progress on this, that I might be able to do it. In the beginning, I remember searching around as I was doubting myself for, you know, the perfect people. I, I remember not only trying to hire all of these people who had years and years of experience when I was having that phone call with that Coke executive. I mean, I, you know, got a lot of anxiety one week before having that call because I thought, okay, this is really important. He's going to wave his magic wand and solve all of my problems. And that's really when I realized that this is something just like in life, that when things are really hard and really important and rewarding enough that if you believe in yourself and, and you believe you're resourceful too, and, and that you're willing to go try, that you may be the one who has been gifted this idea to actually ultimately go solve.